WTWO, your news now. And welcome back. We're watching Washington this morning, and Secretary of State Anthony Blinken testified yesterday before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to discuss his department's budget for next year. But he also faced questions about the U.S. response to the war in Ukraine as he just returned from a trip to Kiev, where he and Secretary of Defense Austin met President Vladimir Zelensky. Um, it's impossible not to be moved by what the Ukrainians have achieved. Uh, it's also impossible not to believe that they will keep succeeding because they know why they fight. Um, seeing this, I have to tell you I felt some pride in what the United States has done to support the Ukrainian government and its people and an even firmer conviction that we must not let up. Now, Secretary Blinken pointed to the administration's support of Ukraine diplomatically, in addition to providing billions of dollars in military aid to the worn, torn country. And Senator Joe Manchin says any new Democratic budget should focus on combating inflation and reducing the deficit. The moderate Democrat all but killed the president's Build Back Better bill by breaking ranks and voting no. Manchin also wants to see changes to the tax code to close loopholes to make sure everyone is paying their fair share. And taking a look at other headlines from around Washington today, the Supreme Court on Tuesday hinted that it may be open to allowing President Joe Biden to shut down a Trump administration program designed to restrict immigration at the southern border. President Biden has also granted clemency to 78 nonviolent inmates as his administration works to help offenders find work and a chance at a college education. And Vice President Kamala Harris has tested positive for COVID-19. Her office says she's not been in close proximity to the president. She's isolating and working from home. And that's what's happening in Washington. Let's head over to Julie with a look at that forecast. Hello, Julie. Hello, David. Thank you so much. We're going to kind of take it for the next five days and get you through as we get ready to head toward the weekend. 